All right, boys and girls, in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through a $3,400 home studio that you could be winning Grammys with. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. I'm Steve Freeman, hit songwriter, multi-platinum selling record producer. And what I wanted to do in this video is walk you through a total $3,400 home studio that other professional producers and songwriters are using to win Grammys. We're gonna talk about the interface that you need, we're gonna talk about microphone, we're gonna talk about monitors, and we're gonna talk about MIDI controllers and virtual instruments. Basically, just a couple of things that you need that's $3,400 and it's exactly what top producers are using to win Grammys, like Phineas and Billie Eilish winning record, song, and album of the year with the setup exactly like what I'm about to show you for only $3,400. For many years, it's been a huge misconception that you need a multi-million dollar studio, and you've gotta have hundreds of thousands of dollars of outboard mic pre's and compressors and 48 channel consoles to be able to create the kind of music that tops the charts, both streaming and sales charts. It's just not true anymore. Luckily, because of technology, things have advanced. You don't even have to have a multi-million dollar recording studio. Matter of fact, all you have to have is $3,400. Now, as I get started in going through these different elements and showing you the different dollar amounts for your home studio, I am keeping in mind here or assuming that you already have a computer, whether that's a Mac or a PC. So I've not calculated the cost of a computer in here because I'm assuming most everybody that has a home studio probably already has a computer, okay? So that being said, let's talk about item number one. And I honestly think it is the, besides your computer, of course, is the most important decision you'll make as a producer and a home studio owner. And that is your interface. I gotta be honest with you, if you are not using the Universal Audio Apollo line of interfaces, you need to sell, get rid of, trash, anything else that you're using, and go with Universal Audio and the Apollo line of interfaces. Now, for the purposes of the budget we're putting together today, which is $3,400, I wanna talk about the new Universal Audio Apollo Twin X Duo. Now, why do you love Apollo so much? Why do you love Universal Audio, Steve? I'm gonna tell you what Universal Audio has done as far as processing power when taking the load off of your PC or off of your Mac to be able to run simultaneous plugins, that combined with the Unison preamps, you don't need expensive mic pre's. You don't need expensive outboard compressors and EQs. All of that is built in, and when you buy one of the new Apollo uh, interfaces, it comes with a plug-in bundle that's gonna give you some of the best compressors and mic preamps that have ever been used on any recording in history. Plus, right now, Universal Audio has launched their new Luna DAW recording software. So let's say you don't have Pro Tools or you don't have Logic Pro. If you're on Mac, Luna is absolutely free. It also comes packaged with tons of virtual instruments and all kinds of things to help you be creative right there inside Universal Audio's new Luna DAW. But back to the interface for just a second. This interface, we're gonna round up. It's 900 bucks, 899, 900 bucks. This interface right here is what Post Malone is doing his vocals on. Halsey has done her vocals for her record. Billie Eilish, all of the vocals, everything was done through a Universal Audio Apollo Twin. So you don't have to have these big 16 channel, eight channel, even six channel uh, interfaces. It's just not necessary. You can do everything that producers like Louis Bell, myself, and artists like Billie Eilish, and Post Malone, and Halsey, and Katy Perry, everybody else, through this little Universal Apollo Twin X Duo. It gives you the processing power that you need. It comes bundled with plugins that use the processing power built into the Apollo. It's not taxing on your computer. How many times, if you're using another interface, have you added three or four plugins onto a mix or even when you're recording and boom, increase HQ buffer size in Pro Tools? I see it all the time and it pisses me off every single time. That's why I went to the Apollo line 
of interfaces. It will not tax your computer. It will not slow your computer down and eat up all of your Mac or PC's memory trying to run those plugins. It runs them natively through the processors on the Apollo Twin X, so it's not affecting your computer at all. And these plugins, by the way, you can monitor with them or you can record directly with those plugins used in the software itself. It's absolutely amazing. So if you're using anything like an Apogee or a Focusrite or any of the other line of, of interfaces out there, you need to just get rid of them and go with the Apollo Twin X. You are going to increase your productivity and your workflow by so much. It's going to save you so much time and headache and not wanting you to throw your interface or your computer out the window. It's unbelievable. So for the backbone of your studio, your interface, look at the Universal Apollo Twin X Duo. It comes in at $900, and that's gonna be the first thing that I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna recommend. Get that interface. The second thing we're gonna talk about is microphones. Now, we could talk about thousands of different microphones out there. There's a lot of people out there that will tell you, oh, you've gotta have this $3,500 Neumann U87, or you've gotta have a classic U47, or one of these Sony microphones, it's $10,000 that, I just, I can't even believe. I bought one and sold it three weeks later because I didn't even like the way that it sounded. Stop watching music videos and, and determining what microphone you need to have in your studio based on what the superstars look like they're using in their music videos because I can promise you that's not what they're using in the studio. What I'm gonna recommend for you comes in at $400 and that is the Shure SM7B. Now you're probably sitting back and going, Steve, well, I've heard about the Shure SM7B, but if I were gonna have one microphone in my studio, are you telling me that that's the one you would have? Yes, I have a closet in there that has about $35,000 worth of microphones. 90% of the time, I reach for a Shure SM7B. Why? Because I know exactly how I can shape it in post. I know exactly what it's going to sound like. It doesn't color the sound as much as a lot of other condenser or tube microphones or vacuum microphones or ribbon micro microphones. It doesn't color the sound as much. I know the exact sound I'm gonna get and I know exactly what I can make it sound like in post. Michael Jackson used a Shure SM7B to record every single vocal on the Thriller album. So if it's good enough for one of the top selling artists of all time and one of the top three highest selling records of all time, I think it's good enough for your studio and it's good enough for my studio. It's great on just about any style vocalist. It's great for rap. It's great for country. Jason Aldean uses a Shure SM7B most of the time on all of his vocals on his records. It's great for rock. It's phenomenal for rock music. And it's great for delicate voices even on females. When you know what to do, you pair it with great plugins in the mixing process that you're going to get with your Apollo, you're going to find that you can shape a Shure SM7B to make it sound exactly the way you want it to sound. And it comes in at only 400 bucks. Now let's talk about one area I am going to have you drop a little bit of money on, and this is going to take up almost half, matter of fact, it does take up half of our entire budget of what we're talking about for our $3,400 Grammy winning home studio. You have to have access to sound libraries and virtual instruments and MIDI controllers. What I'm going to recommend for you is the complete ultimate 12 package with a complete controller, the S49, that will allow you to have a MIDI controller for any other virtual instruments that you wanna use. But then when you buy it with this bundle for $1,700, you get Complete Ultimate 12. This is going to give you access to hundreds of thousands of different sounds and beat packs and drum packs and synths and pads and orchestration, acoustic guitars, all of these different plugins and virtual instruments come included with Compact uh, 12 Ultimate, Complete Ultimate 12. It's absolutely amazing. Yes, it's $1,700, but let me tell you this. There is nothing you have heard on a record on the radio or a record that you've bought that cannot be created with Complete Ultimate 12 and this um, S49 uh, keyboard controller. I have the, uh, it's right over here. I have the 88 key weighted key version and I use Complete for just about everything. Matter of fact, 
on almost 100% of, of the records that I produce, I'm using either Complete Ultimate or there's one other program, and we can throw this in there as a bonus, check out Omnisphere. But you don't have to have it, okay? If you get the Complete Ultimate 12 with the Complete S49 controller, you are going to be set. Especially if you're using a Mac. Remember what I said earlier about the new uh, DAW software from Universal Audio called Luna? If you're on a Mac, Luna is free for you, and you can download that. It also comes with a ton of virtual instruments. So let me say this again. Yes, it's $1,700, and it's half of our budget. But there is nothing that you've ever heard on a record or on the radio that you can't duplicate, replicate, or even make your own with this bundle of the keyboard controller and complete Ultimate 12. Now, little side note here. Stop getting on Splice and downloading samples and sounds. Be a real producer and make it yourself. I don't consider people that are dragging and dropping loops as producers. That's being a computer programmer, okay? If you want to be a real producer, learn how to use the real tools. And I'm telling you, with your home studio setup, so far we've got the Universal Apollo Twin X Duo. It's going to be a killer interface for you. You never really will need to upgrade unless you need more inputs or more outputs, which for a small home studio, medium-sized home studio, you're never going to need more than that. You pair that with a great microphone with the Shure SM7B coming in at $400, and then you have this, uh, this S49 keyboard controller uh, from Complete, and then you've got the Complete Ultimate uh, software bundle that comes with all the virtual instruments that you're ever going to need, all of the sounds, you are well on your way. Now, the last thing I want to talk about, monitors. Monitors like microphones, there's a lot of options out there, and a lot of people have a lot of different opinions. But what I'm going to recommend for you is just the good old standard Yamaha 8-inch powered monitors. Are there better monitors on the planet? Absolutely. Can you spend $100,000 on a pair of monitors? Yes, you absolutely can. And yes, I've absolutely done it. And then yes, I absolutely sold them because they really don't sound any better than these that you can get for $400. Now, yeah, they sound a little bit better. They've got a little bit more detail. But for what you're going to be doing and when it comes down to the mixing and mastering process, it's really not going to matter. I'm telling you, go back to Phineas and Billie Eilish. He's using these Yamaha monitors and it did fine and it won them five Grammys. These monitors also come in very affordably at only $400 for the pair. So when you add everything up, let's take a quick look. You've got the Universal Audio Apollo Twin X Duo coming in at $900. You've got your microphone, the Shure SM7B, coming in at $400. You've got the Complete Ultimate 12 bundle with your keyboard controller and plus the Complete Ultimate 12 software pack. That comes in at $1,700. And then you've got your Yamaha powered eight inch monitors, which come in at $400. You add all of that up, what have you got? You've got a studio, a home studio, a spare bedroom studio on a laptop studio that can win you five Grammys. How do I know that? Because they're doing it left and right. Don't fall into the category of feeling like you have to have all of this super expensive equipment. I often tell a lot of producers and songwriters, the tools when it comes to your home studio, think about it this way. You can go to Home Depot. They sell a $100 hammer and a $20 hammer. Both of them are going to do the same job. Yeah, one might be made a little better than the other, but if the objective is to get the nail into the board, the $20 hammer is going to get you there just fine. Don't overspend. $3,400 is all you have to put into your home studio to have a Grammy Award winning studio. Some of you may already have some of this in your studio already. You may already have a pair of monitors that you really like from Focal or Mackie or Barefoot or JBL, you may love the monitors you have. Well, just subtract that $400. Put that $400 towards the $900 of the new interface for the Twin X Duo. You may already have a microphone that you absolutely love. You can mix and match any of this stuff. The key here is that you can see very simply that for just $3,400, you can have a top-notch 
top quality studio, just like any other multi-million dollar studio anywhere in the world. Guys, thank you for joining me for another video. I hope you enjoyed this, the $3,400 Grammy Award winning studio. Be sure to like this video if you want more videos like this and also the stuff I do talking about the music business and the music industry. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Would love to have you follow me on Instagram at the Steve Freeman. Until the next time, guys, keep being creative keep pressing the boundaries, and there's nothing wrong with being independent. See you in the next video.